So I have my code written in Microbit and I'm ready to download my code onto the Microbit. I'm going to come down to this download button and I'm going to click on these three dots. I want to first connect my device. This is really helpful because it allows us to transfer our code super easily. So it asks us to make sure that our Microbit is connected with the USB cable to the computer. I click next. Then it's going to ask me to make sure I pair my microbit to the computer by selecting this name or this name. So I'm going to get a pop-up window and I have to click on the name. Here's my pop-up. I click on the name and then I'm able to click on this blue connect button. I click connect. I am now successfully connected to microbit. If you get a message that says try again, you should try again. If it still doesn't work, I'll show you steps that you can use to download your microbit manually after this. I click done. My microbit is now connected, so I can come down here and I click on the download button and my code is transferred from the computer onto the physical piece of the microbit. I can now unplug my microbit from my computer, plug it into the battery pack and run around and test my code. The other way that I can download my code onto my microbit is just simply by clicking download. The file will download directly onto my computer. You'll see that I get this little pop-up that says show in folder. I can also access this through my files icon on my Chromebook by clicking on files. In the files, you'll see that my micro bit shows up here as a removal piece of hard drive. If I click on downloads or recent, you should see that I've got my micro bit project there and it's a .hex file. I can manually grab that file and drag and drop it onto my micro bit and that'll transfer the code over as well. When I check my micro bit after the light stops flashing on the back, I should see that my code has transferred and that works as well.